Right golfers, five things that golfers think they want but totally don't need. And I have seen this over years and years of coaching. Let me show you what I mean. Number one, golfers want to be able to draw it and get away from their fade shots. Oh, I've just cut that up the right. This has to be one of the most common ones as a coach that you get. People who are cutting the ball want to draw it. And yes, trying to get people to draw the ball gives them another tool. It gives them like another weapon in their toolbox. Does it make them hit the ball better, longer, straighter? Often it doesn't. All you want to be able to do is put the ball in play up there. Your desire to hit a draw, so many students I've got hitting draws and they love it because they've never hit a draw and it's like, oh, this is great and exciting. But then you measure their natural fade to their draw and you think, actually your fade disperses much tighter than the draw, which means it's good that they've got this other weapon and they're able to hit the draw if they ever want to keep practicing it and perfect it, all great. But just playing their fade for so many golfers it is so much straighter and the other thing you've got to remember some of us just aren't built to hit certain shaped shots the way we kind of stand the way we naturally hold it they can be changed but they might not suit our body shapes the kind of movements our bodies can even make which means you're just going to fight an uphill battle great examples of golfers like this Kaima went from his fade tried to hit a draw that didn't go so well so even the best struggle with it play the shape that keeps the ball in play the most and this leads me on to my next one. People want to hit the ball straight. I know hardly any golfers who hit the ball straight. Most of the world's best hit with some level of curvature. A good thing for you to work on in jaws and fades and wanting to hit the ball straight is to actually try and hit with reduced curvature. So the more curvature you put on the ball, so the more it fades or hooks, even if it hits target, can reduce distance and it can reduce accuracy a little bit. So reducing curvature is a good thing but play your curvatures. Hitting it straight, the desire to hit the ball straight. I mean, I would say I hit the ball relatively straight, but it's always got a turn one way or the other that I will aim, play for, and game as it tightly changes through my life. Golfers definitely feel like they want to hit the ball dead straight. So that's a little straight to slight draw up to the left into the left side of the fairway. All look good. The desire to hit straight, whenever I got students who want to hit straight, that's a no. Because you're going to hit one out of 50 straight. Let's get you dispersing it closer and playing your shapes. The next one is trying to make birdies. Sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? Because you should try and make as many birdies as possible. But look at this data here from ShotScope. This is taking over millions of shots from golfers all around the world. It clearly shows that doubles is such a bad issue as you come down through the handicap ranges. So as you get higher to lower, you see doubles. Where the birdie counts, yes, they move, but they're nowhere near as big as people think. It's the double bogeys that are killing so many golfers. So you should be doing everything to keep them off. So many golfers come to me saying they want to make more birdies. You want to be doing less of this, less of that. Oh, and less of that. It did get through though, but I'm not on the green. Even down to things like I'm on the right side of the fairway here, which gives me a better line into this pin. But it's something I would never try and do from the tee because I'm five steps away from the trees and 15 steps away from the ditch where there's plenty of room over there even if I get it in the tree. So I'm always trying to aim into my biggest gaps to avoid trouble. It happens to be on the better side here just by my natural variance. So if I up the odds, I'm gonna get some ones where I win. Hopefully when I lose, I'll just be in the tree line, not the ditch because I aimed appropriately. So the more I up my odds, the less chances I've got of making those horrible doubles. I'm not thinking of birdies. Middle of the green with my approach, pin at the front towards the right bunker. Not really seeing that. Middle of the green. Just try and chuck it in there. I am trying to get pars. I'll make birdies again from the variance. That one's gone relatively close because it came up a bit short. I'll take it. Next one's huge and like good golfers and any kind of golfer need to think about this and stop doing this within reason. Uh, if I go past this pin, I'm gonna have a downhill putt, short of the pin I'm gonna have in my head what feels like an easier putt. That's a different video if that's actually true or not. So trying to chip the ball intentionally short or past the hole. C can we, within reason, there's always some exceptions can we stop that as a strategy unless it's an absolute outlier crazy green just chip it as close as possible let me show you what I mean so I've got a handful of golf balls here and I'm just gonna throw them behind me and let's go and put the pin where we want the pin to be 
in that group of balls. So here they are. I'm going to use my Star Wars bottle here to put the pin where I want it to be. I want the pin probably to be there because that's one, two, three, four, five of them are gimmies. That's close to a gimme. These are all very holdable. That one's holdable just outside and that one's a little bit long, but obviously it's missable. But I would look at making 90% to nearly 100% of those putts. But I'm now gonna try and chip it so I keep it below the hole. Well, even if we get one above, we're now moving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nearly nine of them are now moving outside of a holdable every time distance. The term every time there, obviously loosely. So you just disperse whatever you want. Take a load of tees now and chuck them down on the ground. See where the best place is for your pin. You're gonna find just putting it in the middle of the group generally is your pattern. We all disperse. If I was good enough, if you were good enough, if the world's best were good enough to constantly keep, keep it the side they wanted for the next part, they would do it. What they're actually trying to do is just chip it as close as possible. Amateurs with less skill trying to do that, honestly, it doesn't work. People think they want this, they don't want this. And the last one is often very counterintuitive, but people want to hold more putts. They want to hold more. I want to get out there and hold more putts. And yes, absolutely, holding more putts would be great, not missing from certain distances. But really what you want to do to define yourself and move yourself above fellow golfers that are at your standard, certainly if you've got any level of handicap, so we're talking like five handicaps and up, is you want to stop free putting. You want no free putts per 18 holes. You want no free putts over 24 holes, over 36, over 44. Again, when you look at data from ShotScope, what you see is that the worst golfers free putt more. Better golfers tend to not free putt as much. Where from certain distances, we all have a kind of make rate and obviously trying to increase that, great. But trying not to free putt is a massive skill that will move golfers ahead of the pack, not going out there thinking they need to hold every putt. So many golfers think they need to hold, I should hold this, I have it a great shot into 15 foot from 200 yards, should make this. No, the, 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 the make rate for 15 foot is the same. If you putt it to 15 foot, it doesn't differ to if you hit it from a 300 million yards away to 15 foot, which would be an amazing shot. Yes, the expectations of the two are very different, but the data will be the same. It's a 15 foot putt, the 15 foot putt, doesn't care. So get out on the green, work on your distance control, get hot with your distance control, get to a stage where you can roll putts down to gimme distances over and over again. The odd one might drop again on variance, but not free putting from these situations and keeping those free putts off your card for longer as amount of a hole. So if you can not free putt for the next 30 holes, your scores will come down. You think one of these would go in, wouldn't you? I need to hold more putts. Like, come on. Like, this is a 25, 20 foot putt, and I can't believe I've not hold one. Golf's too hard. But the good thing, I'm hoping none of them are free putts. Think about it, golf's tough. Like, so tough, isn't it? It's such a frustrating game. It's even more frustrating if your ideas of what you want to do are a little bit unachievable. That's just a ticket to giving up. That's a ticket to constantly being angry. That's a ticket to ripping out of the car park and being grumpy all weekend because you've had a round of golf, not how you expected. Five things, take them out and practice. Let me know what you think. If there's things I've missed, post in the comments down below. Let me know what things you think golfers want but absolutely don't want. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.